Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Star Wars Episode Six. This is the last of the six movies, the original six movies. Now, uh, just so you guys know, first order of business, in case you guys are stopping in for the first time viewing this and you haven't viewed my previous ones, uh, the first thing to know is I have watched these a long time ago when I was younger. That's why the thumbnail says like rewatch slash reaction because there's a lot of things I don't remember, but then there are some things that I do remember. I think. I can't remember how old I was when I watched this last, but it was, you know, I was in high school and I've been out of high school for a while at this point. So I wanted to refresh myself because there's so much new Star Wars stuff coming out. Some of it is real good. I've heard complaints about others parts of it, um, but I want to watch some of it. So I decided to start this journey slowly going through all six original movies. And then my next stop is going to be I'm, I'm actually not sure where my next stop is. I kind of, even though I didn't watch this in release order, I watched it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, I kind of bundled the first six movies together as, like, the first thing that released, right? And then I might start going in release order now. So I, I want to watch the animated series, and I think those are what release next, but I have to look into that, and I don't remember which one. I know there's two different ones, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to talk to Robin. I'm sure you're watching this. Thank you for watching and helping me out with this. And uh, I'll, I'll ask him about that and see what I should see what he thinks I should do next and, and stuff like that. So uh, also just to keep in mind, if you're new, I am uh, I do full length timer based reactions. So that means you guys need to have your own footage. I'll do a countdown and you guys need to sync up with me and we'll start the movie together. You'll be watching it from Disney Plus or wherever you're watching it from. Uh, and I will be watching it on, on my end, so I'll do like a, all there'll be as a counter on the screen to help you guys sync up. There'll be a tiny bit of footage, only like 30 seconds or so, usually it's only like 15, but I do a little bit longer for movies, um, and that way it'll help you guys sync up and follow along and, and watch with me. So, I do that to avoid copyright stuff, and movies are long as well. And I know a lot of other channels will just chop it up into, like, you'll get to see, like, 15 minutes of their reactions or something out of the two-hour-long movie. Um, but because of copyright issues and things being taken down all the time, sometimes even years later, I do it this way. Okay, sorry for the long rant. <laughs> um, I just try to get that out of the way early on in the video so if people are like, oh timer-based reaction. Screw that. I don't want to be here anymore. That way they can leave early. They don't have to sit here and listen to me talk, and then I start the episode, and then they're like, oh, crap. I I can't follow along with this like this, and, and then they leave, and I wasted more of their time. That's essentially what it comes down to. But anyway, last episode, last movie, it's, it's so weird having them be called episodes, but then, you know, either way. Uh, we had the truth be revealed to Luke about who his father is in, in that battle, and he lost his hand, but he got a replacement one towards the end. Uh, we still have... Uh, Han is still locked in Carbonite, right? So we have to save him from that. Uh, uh, we still... They still don't... The, the brother and sister still don't know that they're brother and sister, so that that's still going on. And, uh, we've blown up the Death Star. And, yeah, I mean, this is probably the part of the movie that I, like, don't remember the most. Like, there's a lot of aspects of this, like, there's a little bit that I do vaguely, vaguely remember towards the end of it. But other than that, I don't really know what happens in this one. Maybe it'll come back to me as I watch it, but... But yeah, Luke also gave up on his training in order to go save Han and uh and Leia and everything. And they that was like the bait that drew him in. Yoda was a little bit disappointed with him for, for leaving the training. Yoda thought that he should have stayed and and mastered everything first. So I guess we'll see. Will he go back to training now and, and stuff like that? I'm like I said. I don't really remember, but I'm looking forward to watching it. Make sure you guys get some water. I have actually two bottles of water here that I will be sipping on throughout the movie because I can't stop. You guys could pause and then resync up if you wanted to, but uh, I also have a bag of popcorn, so if you hear a little bit of munching, I'll try to munch as quiet as possible on it, but I didn't do popcorn last time, and I kind of missed it, so I will be doing that this time, so... 
yeah, without further ado, six minutes in, sorry, I don't usually talk this long for uh, for my shows anyway. Uh, let's just jump into this, because I'm excited to watch it, and it's a long movie, so yeah, we're going to start here, guys, in five, four, three, two, one, now. <laughs> Uh, so the visuals won't start until the actual movie starts because I feel like there's like, I don't know, I've synced up to other reactors improperly because my version of the episode started different from there. So like right now, a long time ago in a galaxy far away, this is when you'll start seeing the footage in that corner. Star Wars. Episode 6 Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker has returned to his home planet of Tatooine in an attempt to rescue his friend Han Solo from the clutches of the vile gangster Jabba the Hutt. Little does Luke know that the Galactic Empire has secretly begun construction on a new armored space station even more powerful than the first dreaded Death Star. Uh-oh. When completed, this ultimate weapon will spell certain doom for the small band of rebels struggling to restore freedom to the galaxy. I'm gonna plug that exhaust port that they shot down. You know what's funny? I remembered the exhaust port, but for some reason, I think it's because they were flying in those little trenches. For some reason, in my memory, before watching the last movie, or, uh... Was that the first one? Wow, my brain is dumb. Um, was that four or five where they destroyed the, the Death Star? So much happens in these. Um... But either way, no, I, I think it, I think it was five. Sometimes they like merge together of like what happens. But, uh, but either way, uh, what was I going to say? For some reason in my memory before watching it, I thought the, they actually flew into the exhaust port and like shot the thing. But it makes so much more sense that they just shot into it with, like, the perfectly lined up shot. Yeah, I never actually wrote down... I have rubble base destroyed. Lord Vader. There he is, boys. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh shit, he's coming here. Mm-hmm. 
There's parts of my memory that, like, feel like the Emperor dies, but I legit can't remember how, when, or if it really does even happen. It's so vague in my mind. What are they doing? So they must just be roaming around Tatooine. Man, for how like high, I guess they fly, right? I was gonna say for like how high tech all of this like this world is and the technology they have, you'd think they'd have like roads. <laughs> it just instantly gives up. <laughs> I love these two together. <laughs> oh, what is that? A spider thing, I hate it. No, 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 there's a bunch of them, or at least two. Are they guards or are they riffraff? Ugh. That guy looks too fleshy for me. I hate his fleshy hair wrap thing that just like wraps around him. Ugh. Like, my nose and stuff is so wet on that thing. There he is. This fat fuck. That was actually rude. Might just be what his race looks like. I was given a little fun fact about Jabba the Hutt. Um, sorry, I don't want to listen to this. Ugh. What was that thing? Hahaha. <laughs> 
my favorite decoration. Just like a painting on a wall. <laughs> that fucking thing. <laughs> what was that other laugh? <laughs> Sounded like a chipmunks sort of thing. Uh. Yeah, there was the possibility that the the CGI for Jabba the Hutt wasn't going to work out, so they there was a possibility of him being cast as a person, which was just interesting, of like some images of what he could have looked like. I'm glad it worked out because it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as interesting to me if like Jabba the Hutt really was just like a branding their droids or something or uh but yeah it wouldn't be as interesting if it was just like a bearded man or whatever it looked like in like a fur coat <laughs> it kind of looked like from the picture. Uh oh. Jeez. I'm guessing, uh, Luke is gonna use them to, like, break in or something, a reason for leaving them, right? Is it that one on the left singing? <laughs> what a creepy looking thing. So many creepy looking things. <laughs> oh shit. What is he doing here? Ugh. Oh shit. Well. I think she's about to be eaten by some monsters. You know what's crazy? I don't think so because this movie is like, unless I just know her as an older actress. I, I almost feel like I recognize that actress that was playing that green alien chick. Even through the... Oh, is that Chewy? Yeah, I thought I saw a furry. A furry thing. <laughs> is this part of the plan?
25,000. No, no! What is Boba Fett up to? Oh shit! I'm gonna blow you all up, fuckers! No, Chewbacca! I feel like it's part of the plan. Mmm. Oh! Lando! <laughs> These damn pipes, is what Chewbacca just said. I feel them, though. I'm pretty tall, so... I've hit my head on many a thing. Oh, no! <laughs> what a cutaway. <laughs> just cuz, why not? Oh, that's funny. I wonder if I could find that actress. I feel like that'd be so hard to find. I'll try though. In the in the, the discussion I'll try. I'm legit just gonna Google like green alien chick from Star Wars episode six. See if I can find her. I think she just looks a little similar to someone I've seen in a show recently. But they're around the same age, so obviously, you know, I don't think it's her. Is this bounty hunter on... I mean, thawing him out, so he must be on our side. Too short to be Luke, though, right? So I wonder who it is. I feel like Leia's decently tall, too. Damn. Oh, okay. I guess that was her. You know, he's just right there. 
Did you guys see that that one guy in the back holding C-3PO's mouth? CP th C-3PO doesn't move his mouth to talk, but that wouldn't stop him from talking. That might muffle the noise he makes, maybe, if that's his speaker right there. Do they have a backup plan? I mean, Lando's still there. Yeah. You always hate the tongue. That little thing reminds me of like a like a Jeff Dunham puppet or something. <gasps> Put him in the same spot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Has he, uh, I guess we don't know exactly how long it's been since the, since episode five, right? The events of episode five, so I wonder how much training he's undergone. Is he just walking right in? Or is that not him? The outfit looks too floofy for him, but... Oh, it's a cloak, okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I remember that outfit. I've seen many a cosplay of that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> the Jedi mind trick. He'll just kill you all. Oh. <laughs> you weak-minded fool. He knows. He knows the tricks. He too smart for that. <laughs> Is he going to destroy whatever beast they have down there? Oh no, that one guy fell with him. <laughs> All right. The Rancor.
Luke just watched that egg die! I guess it was working for a job of the hut, so who cares? Alright. I hope you brought your lightsaber there, buddy. I guess not. He pulls out a bone. Come on, Luke! <laughs> Just blocked its mouth. You can't chew now, bitch! Oh, well, now you can. Why would he walk in without a lightsaber? Or does he just not want to kill it? I would never go anywhere without my lightsaber. Because it's not like he had to let go of his weapons, right, in order to go in there. He, like, Jedi mind-tricked them to let him in. They're so excited. Are you gonna shut the door on it? Nice. <laughs> All of them like, huh? No, poor puppy. Look at this guy. He's like the only person we've seen other than the people on our side. And Boba Fett, but he's in a mask. Is he the caretaker of it? Oh no. <laughs> uh oh, the Sarlacc pit. I think they'll die before they hit the thousand year mark. Oh ho 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 ho. Ugh. I just realized she was like pushed against his like fleshy chest thing. Gross. It's funny because I hear a lot of things about, like, the Sarlacc pit, but I only, like, barely remember it. Although I kind of remember this caravan a little bit better. Is he a drink dispenser? Oh, good thing they went. <laughs> I 
Is this all according to plan? Or plan B? Mm -mm. Can you imagine just like accidentally falling in this thing? Just like walking through the desert? This is why I'd never walk through the desert, in case I find a Sarlacc pit. I guess Lando is still there, right? They still don't realize that he's... <laughs> All right. Did I jump across? Oh, is that the lightsaber? Nice. Oh no! Well, at least he got some food. Can that thing die? Like, if nothing were to be fed to it for a very long time... I don't know if it can move to go, like, find food. Oh, shit. Boba Fett going into action. Oh, well, fuck your gun. Uh-oh. Oh, that was Lando that was hanging there. That's not good. I think it was the first time they said the name. <laughs> it's getting a lot of food. <laughs> Just smack the console. He's gonna choke him! You go, Leia! Oh, his tongue. Got him under his neck fat. Ugh. Oh. I wasn't sure if he was, like, dead or sometimes you can just pass out from being knocked over, but the subtitle said death rattle, so... I think he's dead. Uh-oh. Ha <laughs> That guy was not expecting that. Just like crawling out of that spot and just gets thrown into the pit. Uh oh. <laughs> I 
Nice. Can break chains with that. Oh my god, that little thing's pulling his eye out! A little fucking shitter. It's okay, be careful of the small ones, they'll fucking just rip your eyeballs out. Was that his mechanical hand? That just got shot? Archie, what are you doing, buddy? They fall off the other side. Okay. I thought they fell off the Sarlacc pit side. <laughs> nice. Just stuck head first. Well, job of the hut is no more. That was Boba Fett that fell into the Sarlacc pit, wasn't it? I think. His jetpack flew off and hit the thing and then rolled down into the pit, I'm pretty sure. It's crazy how, like, I always hear about Boba Fett and everything. But, like, uh... But what like a like a couple little small roles he had in in these last two movies? He was just kind of like a a background character, just kind of there, you know. If I'm right about him dying there, oh, is this the Emperor showing up? Is this the first time we're seeing him? I mean, I think this is the first time we're seeing him in person in the... in 4, 5, 6, right? I think we've seen, like, a projection of his face once before, right? In either 4 or 5. All right, all according to plan. Are right, back with Yoda? Nice. Yoda's just entering his prime. Oh no! <laughs> Nine hundred. That's a very long time. No, Yoda must never die. Yeah, see? <laughs> Is 
Is that him trying to say he can't do like what Obi-Wan did? And go into the Force? I hate seeing Yoda. Sick. No, well, don't want to talk about that. How does he sleep on his side with those big ears? Guess like on the edge of the pillow, so they kind of, yeah. Yeah. You kind of knew anyway there, bud. Fortune that you must confront your father. I wonder if there's anyone that's ever, like, I wonder if there's anyone that's gone to the dark side but then managed to pull themselves back kind of thing. Oh no, is he dying? Oh shit. Trying to tell him about his sister. You should have told me about all this sooner, buddy. Oh. I didn't remember this. Shit. Now, was that like a time lapse of them, like, they took care of him and buried him and stuff? Or was that supposed to be like a he vanished into the forest kind of like uh, Obi-Wan did? Hmm. I feel like that could be taken multiple ways, right? But it doesn't feel like time has really passed, so...
Who's the other Skywalker? <laughs> I talked about that. They separated you. Oh, he figured it out. I liked my sister. <laughs> A sudden realization. All right. Needs the rebels. All right. Although, he said everything's going according to plan, so... Which side? I've seen the It's a Trap meme too many times, not to know this guy. So they fly in. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm gonna have to clear my throat here. <coughs> nice. The Millennium Falcon. All right, I like that backdrop right there. That looks cool. <laughs> I don't remember if that happens or not. Han can't be separated from his ship. That's one of their ships too, right? One of the uh, the empires, so that's probably part of the the trick is pretending. Hmm. Look at those two pale fucks. <laughs> You can feel it. <laughs> Fly casual. Can he send some?
Well, it did, but Vader is suspicious. You know, it's funny. They're all in, like, camo outfits and everything, trying to, like, blend in, and then there's just shiny-ass C-3PO. <laughs> you would think you would have, like, I don't know, put some kind of camo on him or painted him. <laughs> it's so funny to see him chewy. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh oh. Stop him. Mm. That did it. No, that's not good. I'd be so scared I'd hit a tree. But I feel like that should be fun on like a track or something. They just sound fun. Like the noise they make. I feel like it'd be very satisfying. I mean, it's not like when you hear, like, race cars, just like, vroom, 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 when you're watching. I guess it'd probably be different if you're actually riding it. So you probably wouldn't really hear it. <laughs> oh my god, he hit the tree! Oh no, there's two more! I feel like something like this could be a really fun level in, uh... Like... Star Wars Fallen Order, or, uh... Or the new one. Like, obviously I know it's not in Fallen Order, <clears throat> but... I feel like doing this kind of thing in, like, a video game could be a lot of fun. It would probably be a little bit on rails, you know? But I think that's still fine. You could, like, be mainly... Instead of being in control, like, the driving, you could be, like, deflecting with your lightsaber as guys shoot at you. I think it would be a pretty cool level. Yep. Well. Gotta watch where you're going, buddy. <clears throat> Stormtrooper gonna watch out for that tree. Quit it, you asshole! Uh oh. Well, that's not good. 
Oh, well, lightsaber works. Nice. <laughs> oh, what a death. It make me, I don't know how I'd feel. Just rapidly spinning like that. Not even like that, like this. <laughs> uh. Is it them? Or it's at least Luke, Chris Leia. Oh no. Ewoks. <laughs> These little things. They're so cute. Look at them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I <laughs> like how it just plop down. <laughs> We need a translator so we can communicate with the little thing. Oh no! Hmm. Red laser, so it's probably a, uh... Stormtrooper, right? Not our side. <clears throat> the voice of that Stormtrooper almost sounded a little bit like Han. <laughs> I like how it didn't really do anything but distract him. Or at least it didn't seem like it did. Because he wasn't like, ow, he was more like, what the? <clears throat> we did it! Aw, <laughs> that was cute. Her lifting him down like that. And they're holding hands. Going to his little village or something. <laughs> Look at him waddle through the woods. My favorite character.
Well, all right. Well, found our helmet. <clears throat> What gooder you are, too. I'm just kidding. Hmm. Is that like a, uh... Are you gonna recognize that something that they do? Oh no! Guess it's not something they recognize, just a trap. <laughs> R2 has all the little gadgets, doesn't he? Just pulling out like a little saw out of nowhere. Uh oh. Is that like the chief one? Not as cute as the other one. <laughs> Arguing in Iwakis. <laughs> They're all like shocked by it. They're all praying to it. C-3PO is their god. Huh. Interesting. I think. <laughs> Against my programming to <laughs> That 
I like how they're just carrying R2 just tied to sticks. Whee! So I obviously imagine Leia's here. Are they gonna eat him? <laughs> Oh, is that an elder? Oh, is that a baby one? No, no, no. We must eat them. <clears throat> Is he going to use the force to, like, lift something? They all got quiet. You don't believe your god? How dare you? <laughs> He's trying to blow it out. Alright. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a god. <laughs> Let's listen to him. Poor R2. <laughs> oh. He thinks he did it. Are they telling stories? <laughs> I like the little invitation. Nice sound effects. <laughs> that was scared. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
squeaky chair. <laughs> Just like a hump in his leg. Oh, nice. They know where it is. <laughs> Let him talk. <laughs> Is he gonna tell her? <laughs> Technically, he's our father. No shit. Interesting. And my sister has it. I wonder if she ever comes becomes a Jedi. I kind of forgot that they, that they kind of talk about that here, where, like, she has the power and could learn it eventually, too. Hmm. Interesting. And I was trying to think, like, would there be anything that would stop them from having, like, female Jedi? Like, is that against the rules? But, no, we've seen female Jedi, right? Most of them have been aliens. Have we seen any human female Jedis? At least in these movies, obviously. These six. Because I know we've seen a couple, like, alien female ones, right? I was sent a picture of a, uh, I'm, I guess I kind of forgot that I saw it, but, uh, Yoda's race, like a female on the Jedi Council. And then I remember one of the, uh, the girls that have, like, the, like, the long, dangly... 
things. There was a a woman looking Jedi of that race. I don't know what that race is called. Hmm. In Jedi Fallen Order, there was also one. I can't remember her name either. Nope, can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched the playthrough of that. And then, of the new movies, I've only ever seen the first one, which also has a a female Jedi. All right, here we go. Yep, because Vader killed him. Damn bug. <clears throat> All right. The only thing I remember, yeah, pretty much the only thing I really remembered from this movie is Vader kind of coming around a little bit in the end. Seemingly, anyway. I think it was right before he dies, right? I think he dies. <laughs> That's why I'm rewatching these guys. Oh, is this the moment? Or are we getting close to it? 
I think this is the background, isn't it? Dude, it's a trap. <clears throat> we haven't seen that moment yet. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that was the background that we just saw, so... Pew, 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 bye-bye. He learned the language? Uh oh. What is he doing? Is he gonna lure him away? <laughs> guy he didn't have one to go off of so he's just stuck there oh that's great oh that smart i have decided look at him go <laughs> oh no Nice. That sucks. <laughs> he just instantly gave up. That's so funny. You turned that corner? Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm almost done munching away on my popcorn, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to, it's kind of why I've been eating it a little bit quicker because I'm almost done, so I figured I might as well finish it up. I'd just be like, ew, you look gross. Alright, popcorn is done.
Uh oh. Well, <laughs> that guy just got bombed. Are they going to attack and help? <laughs> well, that didn't go well. Can they tell the deflector shield is still up? Nice, Lando. It's a trap! There it is! Finally! <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. Things just got not great. Just stab him right through that chair. Come on, Luke. Ah, <clears throat> uh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. That's what I'd say. That is a lot. I think Ewok's gonna come in and help him. The one thing that the that the Sith Lord can't calculate is the Wookiees. Not the Wookiees, I'm sorry. The Ewoks. <laughs> yeah! Get him! We fight!
No, oh, look at them all! They have bows! <laughs> uh, the Empire's undoing was the Ewoks. <laughs> I love them running. So good. Are they gonna get back inside and turn the shields off while this mayhem is going down? <laughs> I love the Ewoks so much! They just beat the shit out of them! <laughs> <laughs> Just dropping rocks. I love their little gliders. <laughs> oh no! He's okay. Oh, they're gonna trip it! They're gonna trip it! Oh no, it's just pulling them! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they tried. It was clever, guys. If only you could have got some leverage around the trees, like wrap it around the trees and then pull it tight, kind of thing. Oh, he hit himself! <laughs> oh, God. It's so good. Yeah, I've been summoned. This is the exact time for heroics. <laughs> oh no. They're primitive weaponry. They're trying so hard. Come on, guys. Just hang in there. They're going to get those shields down. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna try to leverage their lives. Maybe. Uh-oh. Okay, well... They were just waiting for the okay to demonstrate the power. <clears throat> Shit. Well, so much for guns not operational. All right. They're so sneaky. They're so tiny in all this brush. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the little Ewoks are so, so effectively ineffective. <laughs> I love it. It's like they're just like a massive distraction. 
Yeah, stick your little thing in there, R2. Oh no, R2! Oh no, R2! Couldn't you do that before? Guess maybe it takes longer. Oh no! No, the Ewoks! Oh, he's okay! Oh no! Oh. Jeez. If they get point blank, the Death Star might not be able to shoot them, right? Damn. So many people going down. Come on, Luke. Don't underestimate his abilities. Damn it, Luke. <laughs> Get him off of there. They're like, how did that Ewok do that? <laughs> Chewie might be able to help. Is that ours? Yeah! I was hoping the one in the back was ours. Yeehaw! We're being shot at by our own shit! It's so effective! I just love how this... <laughs> oh no! That was great! Hey, there you go. Tied it to a tree that time. They learned. <laughs> Can you imagine just like being this? Oh my god, that was super effective. No, oh no, it's losing its footing. Ugh. Can you imagine just, like, being this 
oh no, sophisticated society, right? You've got these laser guns and, like, a Death Star and stuff like that. And then these little Ewoks just come out of nowhere and just kick your ass or throw rocks at you. You're on the ground getting hit by rocks. Nice. Is that our friendly one? Are they gonna blow the door open? <laughs> blow the door. I wonder... Nice. I was curious if, like, the shields would go down and that would kind of restore Luke back to, like, hope again kind of thing and, like, relieve him of the anger. But, uh... But it seems like he just still has a relatively level head, still, regardless. Probably still a bit of anger there, but... Lure him away. Mmm. Oh, shit. I was like, nice dodge, but then... This fucking Emperor bitch. Alright. Uh, they're checking them. All right, that's what they're gonna do. I'm just gonna blast them. Ah! Nice. Let's go blow it up. <laughs> Just lurking around. Bring yourself back to the light. Hmm. It's also your daughter! Uh-oh.
Yeah, if you hit the sister switch. Definitely some anger there. Music is crazy. It's a very, like, I feel like very, like, emotional music. Jeez. Oh, well. Revenge is sweet. Don't kill him. Realizing that the roles are kind of reversed now. Yes, Luke. <clears throat> Don't underestimate his power. Lightning. Maybe not. <laughs> nice. Everything's falling apart for the... For the Emperor. Alright. Let's go, baby. <laughs> that guy... Does he not realize the shields are down? Ah, oh, there it is. Damn the lightning! Come on, Vader. Jeez, he is just zapping him. Or you will. He won't let it happen. He can take a lot of lightning, man. No. Oh my god! He just picked him up! He just- <laughs> What a way to go out, man. Like... Of all the things that can happen to the damn- <laughs> I don't remember that at all, to be honest. Of all the things that can happen to this- Sith Emperor, like this fucking, the bad of all bads, just picks him up and throws him off the edge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright. They're on the Death Star, though, so if it, if it blows, that's not good, right? 
Like, if Luke is still in there when they destroy this central hub. Yeah, so this must be what I remembered earlier on in the, the movie when I was talking about feeling like they flew into the Death Star. This This must have been... Oh no! Alright, they split up. Oof. It's getting pretty narrow. Hopefully that was an important bridge deflector shields. Go, Grey Leader! I think that was Grey Leader. Nice. Oh my god, that just took him out. Damn. All right. Damn Star Destroyer. Gone. Uh, it's like what Davros wanted to do for the doctor before he tricked him. Oh. Yeah, this is this is pretty much like the only scene I remember from this movie. And it would have been cool having, like, Vader on the, the good side. Can you imagine? Alright. Let's destroy this thing. They need to get out of there too, right? Oh, jeez. Yup, it's about to go boom boom. Oh, that was close. That almost hit a ship.
<laughs> they pulled it off, man. <laughs> yeah, the Ewoks are like, fuck that thing in our sky! She can feel it. Yeah. That's creepy. <laughs> well... He's my brother. <laughs> it's like, but wait, you guys kiss at one time. <laughs> I love Han's face. It's like he just like replayed it all. <laughs> They burnt the s'mores, damn it. Just kidding. Uh, pyre funeral for Vader. You know what's really cool? Well, actually, I'll wait till the credits start rolling and then I'll talk about it. Hey, fireworks! Nice. Is this just like all over the world? People like celebrating that it's been destroyed? Like the. That we won. We so free! The Gungans. So is this all, like, happening at the same time, right? I'm guessing it's just, like, everywhere around the universe people are, like, hearing about what, what happened, right? Some little Ewoks dancing. Aw, oh, they're so adorable. Look at them go. <laughs> I love how they're drumming on the helmets, those stormtroopers. Hey, nice. You know, it's actually kind of funny because I was I was thinking about that. I was like, I wonder if Anakin could, you know, be a Force ghost now that he kind of like changed in death, or or did like the dark side corrupt that part of him and he he wouldn't be able to. Awesome.
All right, we'll just let the credits go as per usual, but we'll start talking for sure. Um, so on that note of Anakin seeing him in the Force at the end as well, as like a Force ghost, uh, one of the things I wanted to mention was, I wonder if it was planned... Like, if George Lucas had it planned at all, because at the end there, when we saw Vader's face, his eyes looked normal. But last time we saw Anakin, before, like, when he went to the dark side and he fought um, Obi-Wan, he, his eyes turned that yellow, kind of like the Emperor's, as, like, because uh, I remember being like, oh, that must be what happens when you turn to the dark side as your eyes change like that and the fact that we didn't see that in his eyes ear in his eyes here is that because he changed in the end like he was he kind of got brought back brought back to the the uh i don't know what it would just be the good side like i don't know the light kind of thing because uh, i don't really think they call their side like light side right um but either way, was it because he was brought back? Like, did, was it just like a happy coincidence that it worked out that way kind of thing? Was it like purpose? Like, did he know when he was writing this movie that he was going to make sure that Vader's eyes weren't that color, right? In, in that way, you know, I just wonder how much of it was planned and how much of it just kind of like worked out that way kind of thing, you know? Um... But I guess they could have just reversed it, too, right? Like, they could have taken... They could have been like, okay, the Emperor has these yellow eyes. And then when they made the prequels, because they made, they obviously made the prequels after, they were like, okay, then we'll make it a thing where, you know, when you turn to the dark side, your eyes turn that color. And then they could be like, well, Vader's wasn't at the end of episode six. And then it could be like, well, that's because he turned back to the good side. Like, I wonder, like... I guess I'm just curious about how that went, like, what that thinking was. It might not be revealed anywhere. There might not be any way to really know, right? Unless it was, like, an interview and he mentioned it kind of thing. But um, regardless, very cool. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Honestly, the Ewoks are my favorite part of the movie. I'm sure you guys realize that. I was having a lot of fun. I love, like, I love underdog stories and stuff like that. So seeing... Seeing these little Ewoks that don't have all this sophisticated technology and everything, actually, like, obviously some parts of what they did weren't very effective, right? But then other things they did was very effective. And that was just really cool seeing that, that fight between the Ewoks and the, uh, uh, the Empire and stuff. It was really cool. They're brave. They're brave little dudes. Like, they're awesome. Um, for being these, like, adorable little things, they're, they're tough little things, too. I love it. It was so good. But, uh, but yeah, we had kind of, like, the, the tease that Leia has, you know, it runs in the family kind of thing, so she should have access to the Force, theoretically, is what they're saying, so... I do wonder if she ever does, like, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other storylines and everything that have been coming out, because I do wonder if she ever does become a Jedi kind of thing, right? Or or does she choose that she doesn't want to live that kind of life, and maybe she just opts out of it, right? Now that the Empire has been destroyed, there's some, you know, there's at least peace for now in the galaxy, so maybe there's no need for her to do it if she doesn't want to kind of thing. Um... But I wonder if any of the other storylines that are between, you know, because obviously it's pretty far in the future where, like, the next movie takes place, the the new movies that have come out recently. Um, or I say recently, it's been a while at this point. Uh, and obviously I know we have, uh, you know, I watched, I watched the first one of that one, so brief spoilers for that is... Uh, you know, obviously we see Luke at the end, and he's a lot older. So, you know, I wonder... I I'm sure there's stuff that takes place from this point between that point, right? Like, I'm sure out of all the content they've come out with recently, there's something that kind of fills in that that gap of, of what, what goes on there. And you get to kind of learn about, like, what happens to Leia and 
and stuff like that but but yeah very uh very cool um sorry i was just kind of like spacing out looking at the credits uh i didn't even write down all that much just because i was just i was honestly i was just into watching it eating popcorn um but in the very beginning, we had the uh, the whole bit with Jabba the Hutt taking him out, and he's now dead. A lot of, uh, I mean, I guess that's wrapping up, right? Is we had Jabba the Hutt dead, which means that uh, Han's debts are cleared and everything. So, unless someone else, like, picks up the debts or something like that. But, um... But so he should be free to, you know, live with Leia or whatever ends up happening to them. Uh, but yeah, that little area, that was a fun aspect of the story, too. Like, the all the different aliens that were there and everything, or I call them aliens, but all the different species, I should say, that were there. Uh, some of them were pretty crazy, and uh, like the, the, the singer there and everything was just was just creepy, but I, I like it because some, like, obviously they had, like, the green alien chicks were, like, you know, fairly attractive in appearance because they looked a lot more humanoid, right? They were just green and had, like, the hair things, but, uh, but yeah, actually I think the, uh, I think we're about to end here. Alrighty, that is it, guys, for the movie, for episode six. Yeah. I do, I don't know when I'll get around to it, but I definitely am planning on doing more Star Wars. Like I said in the beginning of this, that was the whole reason I wanted to uh, go through these ones again, because it had been so long since I've seen them, even though there were some things I remember, there were some things I didn't, and I didn't want to like, I didn't want to jump into new content for me and not know the older stuff, because I've done that a few times, like, very early on on my channel, like, I think I, I was watching an anime, Steins Gate, one of the, one of the first couple anime I have done on my channel, uh, and I, or I was watching the Steins Gate Zero, and I had watched original Steins Gate a long time before, and there were a lot of aspects of it that I forgot, I think I just failed miserably at that reaction, honestly, because there were so many things that they hinted at, they pointed to, and, I just didn't catch on, and I wasn't as emotionally invested and, and stuff like that, so I don't think my reaction to that show was, was very good at all. Plus, I was, like, new to reacting, too, so I was, like, nervous and, and stuff like that. But uh, beside the point, I like trying to refresh my memory on stuff like this, and I could have watched it on my own time and everything, but I decided that there was so many things that I that I forgot that... You know, I figured I'd go through it as, like, a reaction. Because, like I said, pretty much the only... I don't even remember the Ewoks fighting at all. I really don't. Um, I remember the Ewoks existing. Like, I, I like if, when I thought of Ewoks, I could picture what they look like. But I didn't remember the battle with them and everything. Uh, pretty much the only thing, even after re-watching the movie, pretty much the only thing I really remember is Vader at the end there taking his mask off and kind of being, being more, like, on the good side kind of thing in the, in the very end. I don't even remember him showing up as, like, a force ghost in the end either. So there was, like, there was so much of this that was just new to me. But, uh, one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to jump to the Sarlacc pit again. I wanted to see if... If we did have, um, this was them leaving, so I think I went past it, because I think we had Boba Fett die here, which is just interesting. I mean, maybe he didn't, but, because he's a Boba Fett where, <laughs> yeah. Boba Fett where, and he turns, he hits the jetpack, Boba Fett flies off, right? Flies into the other ship, falls, yeah, and he is the one. I just want to make sure that I saw that right. And I mean, the Sarlacc burps, so I mean, is there a chance that he fights his way out of the Sarlacc pit from the inside? Maybe. You know, like, if he still has his weapons with him. 
I don't know. I don't know how this Sarlacc works. Maybe you could escape from the inside. Same with the uh, Emperor. Like, obviously Vader. We saw his body being burned, and we saw Anakin as a Force ghost. Vader's gone. You know. Um, but I almost feel like the fact that we didn't actually see the corpse of the Emperor. I think there's a chance that he could be alive. Same with Boba Fett, right? Um, those are all things that, like, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see in, like, maybe future content. I'll, you know, I'll learn more about that. Or I won't learn anything more, and it'll just confirm that they're dead, right? Because we never see him again. But obviously I know we have, like, Mandalorian, which I don't really know much about Mandalorian at all. All I really know is, like, one of the masks looks like Boba Fett's mask, but I don't know if it actually involves Boba Fett or not, right? Um, and if it did involve Boba Fett, the Mandalorian could be set before his death here, right? Kind of thing. Um, I have no idea. I, I try to avoid whatever there's stuff like that, and I'm like, someday I want to watch through it all. I will try my damnedest to avoid spoilers. If I see stuff about it, I just don't look at it, you know? So there are some things that I accidentally see, and then there's other things that I, you know, I avoid and know nothing about, and I've done a pretty good job of it, so. Um, but I might sneeze here in a second. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to look up the green alien chick. I talked about that earlier in the episode. Um, Star Wars Episode Six. Green alien chick actress. Yeah, wow, I found it. Femi Taylor is her name. It's crazy. I don't know that they ever said her character's name. Oh, shit. I don't know that they ever said, but here on the wiki it has Ula as the name. It's so crazy that things that, you know, like, was she in a different, like, I guess there's books and, like, stuff like that for Star Wars, right? I'm just trying to think, like, it wasn't said in the movie, so how do, how do people figure out, like, the names for these characters and stuff? But I guess there's a lot of other Star Wars media where maybe you learn more about that stuff. Um, let's see, can I, what was her name? Femi Taylor. Let's see if I know her from anything. Femi Taylor. IMDB. Um. Okay, seeing the actual actress, I don't know that I know her in anything. Uh, she's only been in, like, 13 things. And none of them I know. Okay. Interesting. A little, like, trivia for her is, uh... She, she returned to play the same role in the special edition of the movie. So that's cool that they, um, apparently for the special edition, they must have recast some things or maybe the whole, I don't know. I don't know how they did, like, how that works, but apparently she came back for it. So that's cool. But yeah, she, she just kind of looked a little bit like someone I knew, but it, it wasn't. Um, not new personally, but like I like saw her in something else, but nope. It was just someone else that looked kind of similar. Um, at least to the alien. She, she actually, her IMDb picture doesn't, I don't recognize her at all, you know. But as the green alien, for some reason, I recognize her as like a different actress. Um, but, but yeah. Oh, we had the death of Yoda here. That's really sad. And he talked about how he's strong with the force, but not that strong. And in the end, no, in the end, we did see him. I'm an idiot. I was too focused on Anakin that Yoda was there, right? Right, 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 right. 
He was. I am fairly certain he was. There he is. Yep. Good, good, good. Okay. I was really worried when Yoda was saying earlier that, uh, that he's strong with the Force, but not that strong. That I was hinting that he wasn't going to be able to do, like, the the Force Ghost thing, right? But, but yeah, he was here at the end. So that's good. I like that. It's crazy because, like... With that whole Force Ghost thing, those characters, I mean, I guess they would have to recast them. But I guess they, they must have had to recast Obi-Wan for the, um, for the Obi-Wan series anyway, right? But either way, like, them showing up as Force Ghosts is something that's like, like, I wonder if you ever see them as Force Ghosts in the newer movies, or if they try to do, like, more of a reset sort of thing, you know? Like, do we... Obviously, don't answer this. I don't want to know because I'm going to watch it eventually. I don't remember ever seeing any Force Ghosts in the first movie, but I only watched the first one, right? Um, of the of the newer six that they came out with. I think there's six. <laughs> That's how out of the loop I am, that there's a lot of aspects of this, of, like, the Star Wars universe that I just don't know because... I don't want to look it up. I don't want to accidentally read, like, a, you know, because sometimes you look up a name and then there's a summary and sometimes your eyes just kind of skim it, you know? Uh, and that's how much I try to avoid spoilers and, and stuff like that. I won't even read summaries. But, but yeah, the whole bit with the Sarlacc pit, Jabba the Hutt, taking care of that and everything, that was fun in the beginning, seeing all, like, the crazy different species, as I said. Um was was like a, a little fun bit of bit of content um and then we moved on to some of the well i guess that was pretty serious too right we we're trying to save han and everything but then we moved on to you know the the main plot of the story of vader the emperor and you know we managed to take out the new death star that they were rebuilding and you know it, we vader's now dead emperor is at least gone for now possibly dead probably dead i don't know we'll see but uh but yeah it really makes me like i'm kind of excited because like this is a pretty like good package right like all six of these movies they i feel like they go well together like it you know good beginning middle end we have everything wrapped up we have a celebrating at the end and really like you know, this is all they really planned for, I think, originally, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what they planned. I don't even know if they planned for the prequels. But regardless, well, I guess they must have because they did 4, 5, and 6 first, right? So they must have wanted to do a 1, 2, and 3, I feel like. Um, but regardless of what they planned for, it, it was like a whole complete story. I, I feel like you could not watch any more Star Wars and be fine. But I do look forward, like, I've heard the animated series are, are very good, um, and everything. And I think, um, I think Sam Witwer is in the animated series, right? I think? Or is he just in one of, like, the games? Uh, either way, I, I love Sam Witwer, so he's a really cool actor. And it's funny because a lot of the people that I know that really like Sam Witwer, they like him from Star Wars stuff. I feel like, but I first saw him in Being Human, and then I've seen him in, like, a bunch of other roles where he plays, like, a little bit smaller of roles and stuff like that, um, and I've always liked him as a, as a character and, and everything, so, uh, if he is in them, I look forward to that, and, you know, I'm, if you, if you don't watch my channel very much, I watch a lot of anime, <laughs> so, Having a, you know, going through the animated series, uh, for this will, I think will be a lot of fun for me because I'm already really into, to anime, so I'm, I'm fine with watching more, you know, cartoons and, and stuff like that. It won't be as, you know, I have like a few friends that are like, I don't want to watch like cartoons, you know, they're like that kind of like older, more like bigoted kind of thing where they're like, I'm an adult, I shouldn't be watching cartoons, like that kind of mentality and everything, and it's like, uh, okay, you know, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, as the first six movies as a whole, like I said, full complete package, it felt like, I, I don't really feel like there's any, like, 
loose threads, right? Like, I'm trying to think, like, I mean, I'm sure there are, like, if you really, if you really were to, like, dig, I'm sure people are like, well, what about this, this? But really, like, for, like, the big storyline, it was wrapped up pretty well. I, I liked the prequels, even. I, I think I hear a lot of people say they don't like the prequels. I'm not sure why. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of hate for the the kid that played Anakin in episode one. Uh, but as I said when I when I did that video, I mean, obviously the acting was a little rough in that one. Uh, you know, like, he's not the best child actor I've seen, but he's also a child. Like, look how young he is, and he's acting. People need to chill. Like, wow. I, I can't believe people, like, hated on it that much. I kind of feel bad because, like, that that actor must be older now, actually. What year, I think I have it here, what year did episode one come out? Uh, that came out in 1999. Um, so that was 24 years ago at this point, roughly. So that kid, if he was, say he was like 10 in that, I don't know how old he was, maybe 10 is even a little too old. Um, he might have been, like, eight in that. Like, he's probably, like, 32 now, roughly, give or take. Like, with all the hate for it, I wonder... Like, it must suck to be... To be him, right? Like, not suck to be him, you know? But, like, I don't want to say that. That's really mean. But it's kind of like the kid that played Joffrey has, like, a really hard, like, has a bit harder time finding roles, and there's people, like, he'll walk down the street, and there will people that will talk shit to him and yell at him because of his role he played in a TV show. It's like, people need to calm down, right? Uh, it's it's actually ridiculous. I, I really feel bad for the actor that, that, plays, that played Joffrey and everything for, for that reason, too. But, like, to think back and be like, oh, yeah, when I was a kid, I got to play this role. He doesn't, he probably doesn't get to think back and think highly of it because of all the shit people talked about him, right? So it's just one of those things where I kind of, you know, like, I kind of wish he had, like, he could have, like, looked back and looked fondly on that. But either way, as for the prequels, you know, I liked them. Like, some of the lightsaber fights were meh, but then some of them were also good. You know, like, I I still think... At l last episode had a, a good one. I liked uh, I liked uh, Vader versus Luke in the last one. That, that felt pretty good uh, in episode 5. But having... I think it was either... I think it was episode 2. Where we had Dooku versus... Um, Dooku versus Yoda... And that was really cool, like him coming in, like flipping and twirling and throwing shit with the um, with the force and everything. That was really cool, and it was like a really good fight. And and some of the battle scenes were just like crazy with like the Clone War and everything. And you know, it, so I don't know. I don't really find any faults with. I mean, maybe I'll look into it at some point and just see what people say. Um, I'm not easily. I mean. I can agree with people, but that won't change my view typically. So, like, I enjoyed these. Even if I go and read some stuff about why people don't like the prequels, I could be like, okay, I understand that, but I still enjoyed it, right? So I still... I'm not. I'm also not a very picky person, and I'm not, like, a super Star Wars, like, nerd. <laughs> no offense. I, I, I say nerd. That's not the right word to use. I should have said that because I'm I'm a freaking nerd in other things. So don't don't get the wrong idea. I'm not trying to make fun. I'm just saying like I'm not very knowledgeable in the Star Wars universe, right? I never like I know people that have watched the first three or like four, five, and six like a million times, and this is only my like second time viewing it, except for like occasionally seeing it on TV and watching maybe like twenty minutes of it or something, and then and then not watching more. <laughs> so, uh. But yeah, so as as someone who isn't that into the Star Wars universe, I I enjoyed all six movies, you know? 
obviously some were more rough than others. Episode 4 had, you know, uh, really 4, 5, and 6, you can definitely see, like, the dating in the, in the, uh, the effects and everything. But the way I see it is the fact that this stuff was released before I was even born is is mind blowing that they were able to do this what we just watched in in four five and six the fact that they were able to do that in 77 episode five was uh 80 1980 and then 1983 like that's incredible in my opinion so you know just like when i watch anything that's on the older side I always, like, try to remember the the age and everything in it, too. Like, this shit would be revolutionary. I, I wish I was around when this was coming out, because I, I actually have a friend that is older, and he was around, and he watched the original for, I don't know if he went to all three, but at least a couple, like, at least one of the movies I know, because he talked about it, he watched in theaters and everything. Um, and he talks about how like crazy it was to to see that i think he watched it in theaters you know now that i think about it he might have been talking about one of the prequels because i think he was talking about when yoda came out to fight dooku um but either way i think he was still he is older so i'm pretty sure he still was a kid when four five and six came out right old enough to like like watch it and remember and know that he watched it kind of thing um so so yeah he's like a big time star wars fan but but yeah so like i don't have that kind of attachment but i still uh i'm still like digging the universe honestly i'm i'm really excited to see what they do from here on when things start getting a little bit more modern like i've heard I've heard the stories in the new six movies aren't, like, to a lot of people's liking, but I've heard the lightsaber fights in the new six movies are really good, and that's what I'm really excited for. And then the animated series, too, because with animated stuff, you can do a lot more than what you can do in live action, right? Like, live action, you have to deal with, like, actors and having people actually doing some of these moves, and that really limits what you're capable of. Whereas in animated, you can have them do some crazy shit like super flips and choreography and, and stuff like that because you can just animate it to however you want rather than having to rely on a a person to do the movements, you know, unless obviously they're doing that uh, like motion capture. I don't know what it's called, but when they put like the balls all over you and then they actually do the movements for it and stuff. But either way, you know, so but yeah, that's it for the first six movies, and we will certainly be back from more Star Wars content as we work our way through. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to handle when I get to, like, the shows yet, if I'm going to do it like a every week thing. Because watching these movies is kind of like a, when I found the time to do it, I did it. It wasn't something where I had them really scheduled, right? But when you get into a show, it's like, am I gonna, am I gonna do like, am I gonna add another show to my roster because I'm already doing a decent amount of shows? Like, can I add a whole nother show or do I want to kind of do it when I have the time I pump out a few episodes or something. And then when I don't have the time, there's just like a, a downtime in between when new episodes come out. I haven't really figured that out yet, but, uh, but I do, I do want to, to watch them the shows the the newer six movies the animated series all that stuff i want to i want to slowly pluck my way through all of it it's going to be a while and especially with rumors of like more movies coming out by the time i even get close to catching up there's going to be even more you know they just keep pumping out star wars stuff now so i'm probably going to be slowly working on star wars stuff on this channel for the rest of my life <laughs> at this rate not maybe not that long but but yeah Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you did. Check out my Patreon where you can see stuff like this ahead of time. Like, I released this a few weeks ahead of time. Um, and you might be able to see some of the animated stuff ahead of time on there, too, whenever I start that. So check all that out. Link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my future reactions. Bye-bye.